for me, with my email, I tend to fixate on my inbox, right? As, as life has gotten more and more busy for me, my inbox has become... I don't know, no me gusta, right? Like it really piles up and I feel this pressure about the inbox. But I propose to you tonight that we actually ponder something different in our Gmail. I would suggest that you ponder with me the draft folder. Because I maintain that it's the draft folder that contains the world of virtues and vices and where the rawness of your humanity lurks and longs to be studied and pondered in order to become a better person. Sometimes when I'm bored, I look in my draft folder, and it goes all the way back to 2012, when we first switched over to this kind of electronic correspondence at Boston College. And I sometimes, like, I will forward myself like articles and I'll like leave them as drafts and then there are other little drafts of things that I wanted to send in the heat of a moment like this one dear Robert what were you thinking you really embarrassed me and I didn't send it (laughs) right or mom I tried to call and then I hung up because I was running out the door and these are things that are just kind of incomplete And as I look at them, I see moments of anger. I see moments of of sadness and embarrassment, times where I felt so very humiliated or so very insecure, moments where I felt prideful and that somehow I got shortchanged, and then moments where I wanted to say something loving and I didn't. You know, it's worthy of pondering. Why is that? You know, sometimes when I think about my draft folder, I think that it's holy Christian prudence at work to say, don't send that because you're mad, and if you send it, uh, then you've got buyer's remorse the next day. I wish I wouldn't have said that. Right, Everything is received according to the mode of the receiver, that sometimes things can be heard in ways that we never intended. And then sometimes I notice that there's great pride at work, that I don't want to appear vulnerable. I don't want to appear like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to appear needy or weak. And here's the thing. Prudence and pride sometimes are very, very tricky because one can appear to be the other. I might actually think that it's prudential that I'm proceeding in the way that I'm proceeding, but it actually might be that it's pride. I I don't want to appear weak. I don't want to appear vulnerable. And I bet I'm not alone. I bet in the school of the heart that there are probably many of us who have draft folders filled with longings, some of them beautiful and vulnerable, some of them out of places that are, are very hurt and deep within us. And I maintain this. I love that folder. I love all of its contents because it's... Wisdom, very important for us to ponder, why is it that I proceed the way that I do? Why is it that sometimes for me to say what I really feel is hard for me? Or why is it that I need to be recognized and when I feel that I've been slighted that that hurts in such a way? Where's that coming from? So tonight, maybe give the inbox a rest And maybe take a moment to ponder that little draft folder and to love it because actually it contains more of you than you and I might realize. 